Hi, it's Eden, and today I'm going to be tie-dyeing this white crew neck. I was going to tie-dye these sweatpants, but I didn't have enough time. But I will be doing it in a swirl pattern. Here are some of my dyes. Super cool, totally interesting. Love it. Um, now I'm lying down the shirt so that I can twist it and here are my special rubber bands which you need when tie-dyeing since I'm doing a swirl I have to pinch it from my desired spot and just make sure that everything is twisted and now the hardest part is just putting the rubber bands on the actual shirt I thought that this would be super easy and that's why I did the sweatpants off camera because I thought that those would be harder, but they weren't. This shirt was very difficult to put in rubber bands. Yeah. I put in four rubber bands, and therefore I had eight sections. However many rubber bands you put in, you'll have double the amount of sections. So, four times two equals eight. Simple math. Love it. Now I'm going to get ready to start dyeing my shirt. So I'm starting off with my pink because I thought that that would be best. But honestly, I did not realize that the higher up you pour your tie-dye, the harder it is so that it doesn't bleed. And I just kind of added a bunch of colors and it was kind of dysfunctional, but I figured it out. The closer I put the bottle to the shirt, the easier it was to control so that's what I ended up doing for every color. But the lighter colors definitely changed. to They mixed with the other colors very easily. Which is fine. Like the yellow. But I made some pretty orange and light greens. So I don't mind that. So this is the sweater all finished. And I just kind of wrapped it up in some plastic wrap. And I let it sit overnight. Then I rinsed it out until the water was clear, and this is the final product. I love it. So, this is how it looks. I totally love how it turned out. I wasn't expecting the yellow to be in the center, but I think it's totally bright, totally cute. Um, and I like how the sleeves each got color on them, because I was really nervous about that. But yeah, I love it. This is the first time I ever tie-dyed anything by myself, so... I think it's a win. I hope that you guys enjoy tie-dyeing at home and experimenting with the colors just like I did. Have a great day.